So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these tiny little trick-or-treat baskets or buckets or whatever you want to call them. And I started out by rolling out some orange clay and then I use these little snow globes and you can find them on Etsy. All you have to do is search for miniature snow globes and they're pretty cheap, maybe about three or four dollars each. And I don't know, you might be able to find them a little bit cheaper than that. But basically I wrap the clay around it and then cut off the excess that was at the top and then I smooth it with a little silicone tool but you can use your fingers they work the same and then once you just keep smoothing and cutting it'll look like this and then I made the little pumpkin ridges with a needle tool and you just want to make lines that are kind of equally spaced they don't have to be perfect to make the face I just kind of use a little uh, dotting tool or ball tool whatever you want to call it and just kind of carved out the little triangles for the eyes and the nose and then I used a smaller tool to make the mouth and it doesn't have to be perfect but it just should look kind of like a pumpkin I don't know you should google some pictures and that'll help a lot and then to make like a little witch's cauldron I use black clay and then I made these two little things on the side I don't know exactly what they're supposed to be but that's just what they look like and to make a mummy bucket I used glow in the dark clay which kind of looks white but it's really cool because it'll glow in the dark and you can I don't know wear it as a charm if you want um, and then I just cut out little strips and wrapped it around um, until all the glass was covered and it doesn't have to be perfect you just really want it to look like um, the strips that they would wrap a mummy in something like that and then I added little eyeballs for um, with white clay and to make the handles for all the buckets I used some black wire and I found it at Hobby Lobby and I used a 40% off coupon so you should do the same thing and then basically I just bent it into like a half circle and measured them to make sure that they would fit and then pressed it into the clay and then once they were secure I baked them and this is what it looks like when it's baked and now I'm just painting um, black clay into the eyes and the nose and the mouth and then I'm adding little eyeballs onto the mummy. And this is what it looks like when it's dry. And you can use better paint so it doesn't look so bumpy. But the little candy wrappers you can find on my blog, tonyellison.blogspot.com. And you basically just want to copy and paste it into a Word document and then cut it out. Um, print it out and then cut it out and to make all the little candy bars it doesn't matter what kind of clay you use you can use scrap clay for this because it's going to be covered up and I just cut out little bars and for the lollipops I just cut out little well I didn't cut I just made little circles and then put it on the wire and then cut the edges off and now I'm just adding glue to the little wrappers and putting the little bars in and then folding them this was kind of hard but to make it easier um, you can use those little binder clips to keep the paper folded together and then for the ends of the lollipops I used white paint to make them look like lollipop sticks and then I just put a little bit of glue on the paper and kind of forced it together down like a lollipop and to make the wrapper shiny I used glaze it doesn't matter what kind but I used triple thick and I added a little bit of tissue paper and the buckets because you can see the candy easier if you do that and this is what they look like when they're all finished and it looks so cute they look really real so I hope you try it out for yourself and thank you thank you thank you for sharing your pictures with me on Instagram I love seeing what everybody's made and I love liking your pics and commenting and replying and talking to you guys so keep sharing